guys, it is Julia Dantis, and I'm gonna show you how I transform myself into my sweet little precious baby cat, Lulu. So if you wanna get some inspiration for Halloween, then keep on watching. Alrighty guys, diving straight into the tutorial. The very first thing you wanna start off by doing is just mapping out your cat's features or their most prominent spots on their face. And I'm just using a nude eyeliner so that I can map everything out. And if I do make a mistake, I can just wipe it away. Next up, I'm gonna go into my Makeup Forever Flash Palette, and this is a creamy product, so it's really easy to blend all over the skin. It's also extremely important to have a reference photo whenever you are recreating something that is real. So either print it out or get your phone out and have something to keep looking back to so you can make sure it's as accurate as possible. Okay, so for the base, I used cream products. Now I'm switching over to my aqua color, which is a water base, which means it's going to dry down and it's not gonna move around on you. So when we start adding all of the layers and dimensions, everything's gonna stay pretty much in place. So now all I'm doing is filling in all of the beautiful little spots on my face with white. And the best advice I can give you if you're doing a look like this is just to break it down by shapes and by colors starting out. Okay, so we've done the gray, we've done the white, now we're gonna move into the black. So all I'm doing right now is picking all of the features on my cat that really stands out and makes my cat look like Lulu, my dear cat. So if you're recreating this at home and you wanna tune in with your own cat, then this makeup tutorial is gonna look a little bit different depending on who you're referencing and what cat you're referencing. So since I'm trying to create a super realistic tutorial, I'm going in and I'm actually doing little flicks to make my marks on my face look like fur. Okay, now for the fun part, I am seriously obsessed with this technique. I'm going into my toothbrush, dipping back into my aqua color, which I've been using over my full face, but this time around, I'm wetting my toothbrush so that the aqua color is really going to liquefy, and it's gonna give you that really nice paint splatter effect. With any makeup look or artwork that you're trying to achieve something that is really realistic, it's all about layers, dimensions, tones, and textures. So this is a really great technique to creating that really 3D effect. And the closer in we go with our toothbrush, the more intense it's gonna be, and the further back we pull, the more diffused it's gonna be. And the great thing about this is it's makeup. So if you wanna tone anything down, you can just go ahead and buff it out like I'm doing right now. Okay, I'm gonna pick up this stipple sponge, which has a pretty similar effect to the toothbrush, but I wanted to show you guys some different options. And you can order this right off Amazon for like $3, and I'm just creating more texture onto my face. And it's also important while you're doing this texturizing step to pick a shade that's gonna contrast with that base color. Okay, moving on to my beautiful cat nose. I'm making my nose look super wide to match Lulu. And if you do have a slim nose, you wanna fake it and literally just draw it on your cheeks. The wider, the better, and that's what really creates that cat look. Okay, so now everything I've been teaching you about contour and highlight, we're gonna completely go against that and we're going to be highlighting our nose where we would normally contour. And actually this flattens out our nose and makes our nose look so much more wide. Time for my favorite part, creating this super cute little tiny nose. I'm just going into a pink mix with a touch of a nude shade, and I'm just doing an upside down triangle right on the tip of my nose, and then with a tiny defined detail brush, I'm just going to outline that and add in some detail. Moving on to the eyes, my cat's eyes are pretty dark and fierce, and they pretty much look like she's just wearing eyeliner at all times, which I'm totally okay with. So I'm just going back into that Mayron aqua color, doing a nice wing that covers my whole eyelid so it's super fierce and intense. And then I'm just doing that little flicking motions to make this look like fur. Doing any artwork, any painting, any realistic makeup really all depends on the layers, the depth, the dimension. So I'm going in and I'm doing more layers and the more time that you take with this makeup look, the more it kind of comes together and looks more realistic. Now we're just gonna add in a touch of a brown shade. My cat is a tabby, so she does have gray, black, white, and a touch of brown. I'm gonna be picking up my Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm just really deepening up some of those areas that have those shadows so they're really, really intense. You guys have almost made it through the whole video. We are at the home stretch. We're just gonna finish off with the mouth area. I'm just cleaning up the mouth and making sure that it's super white, bright, and clean. I'm also continuing to do these flicks on the chin so that everything has a really nice fur-like effect and then dipping into my stipple sponge just to kind of blend and diffuse that. 
With a super tiny defined brush, I'm just doing a black line right to the center of my mouth and then just doing a lot of little tiny dots where the whiskers are gonna go. And then take your time with this, but I'm just doing little tiny flicks where the whiskers are. I'm also not overly extending these whiskers. I want it to be realistic and I don't want it to take away from the makeup look that we've just done. Alrighty guys, here is the finished look. Let me know what you thought down below if you're going to transform yourself into your pet for Halloween. Remember to check me out on Instagram and YouTube at Julia Dantis Beauty, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.